And welcome back everyone, this is Kickman Indy bringing you another Fire Kicks review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Kyrie 5 Duke PE. And I ended up picking these up from the folks at StockX. I ended up having to go resell on these. I ended up taking the L on the sneakers app. So I had to have these and went with the uh, StockX on resell. Absolutely, like I said, I hated doing it. But I ended up doing it. So here we are reviewing the Duke PEs. It is a great looking pair of shoes I'll go ahead and get into the review itself Kyrie 5 is bringing the heat okay here's what we got here today um, as you can see on the uh, toe box itself you just got the standard black and everything on the toe box and it, on the front of the toe box you can see a design and everything the fabric that they used on here is a little different than what they've used on the uh, Kyrie 5 historically um, it is a more it looks you know I'm sure it was a, a material that took the print a lot better um, so it's a little different than the canvasy type material it's more of a I, I'm not sure this is more of a vinyl not vinylish but definitely a, you know more plasticky type material not plastic but anyway I'll get on with the review and here we've got the swoosh coming down it is a 3d swoosh you have a kind of uh, changes color depending on where how you look at it it makes the top look like it's a little lighter than the bottom and vice versa when I change the color on the shoe a pretty nice little effect um, here with the uh, actual zoom turbo unit and everything on the midsole they did go with just the white here along with the white um, I wish they would have put some speckle along in here it would have really made the shoe um, they did on the other Duke PEs which I do have a pair and I will be reviewing so, okay, and then on the sole of the shoe itself, um, you're going to see that it has just the standard blue all the way across. I wish it would have done the white in here that really would have set it off, but then maybe it would have been too much white with the Kyrie logo. So maybe they did what they did for a reason. As I turn around to the heel here on this shoe, um, you're going to notice that it just has the uh, D on here for this shoe, um, which is the Duke logo. Um, you've got the standard Kyrie 5 on the back of the heel. Um, as I go around to the other side here, um, you do see um, the swoosh just in a standard fabric. Um, it's not 3D like the other side. Um, the sole itself comes up. And it is just the standard blue here. Um, here's the fly trap unit itself. It does have the same print on it and everything. On the actual uh, fly trap unit itself, you see it does have the Duke logo on there. Uh, the Duke logo is absolutely a great touch to this shoe, and I think it really sets it off. Um, you just got a standard blue Kyrie logo here up top, um, which it would have been kind of a blue and a white. It would have went with the Duke well if they would have hit this with the white right here. That would have done it. Um, um, but otherwise, man, this is a top-notch shoe, and really it's why I had to have it and pick it up resell. Um, on the other shoe, you're going to see all it has on here. The only difference in this shoe is it's got the big one right here on this shoe, as you can see. I'll go around on this shoe, let you kind of see the differences and everything. Again, I did purchase these from StockX. Um, absolutely hated doing it. They took forever to ship the shoe. It was absolutely pretty much an awful customer experience, as I would expect, um, which is why they don't get much business from me unless I absolutely have to. Okay, well, um, here's a review on the Duke PE. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure and smash that like button down below and subscribe if you would, please, and you have a great day. Thank you.